Hello, Collective. Welcome back to the Ascended Divination Priestess channel. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families. As always, I return to source. I return to sender. All negative energies in intent immediately and permanently. I call in only the purest of white light and pray that you stay only in the highest of vibrational energies. Whatever the enemy has stolen from you, it is returned to you. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled and being dismantled as we speak. As I have said, so shall it be. Judgment is final. Okay, so our room today is IS or is whatever they call it. Um, so you are being told to be on the lookout for disagreement between families and friends. Um, something may be coming to an end. Maybe you, you're not aware that something is coming to an end. But if you've been going through some type of conflict in your life or some type of strife or problem, this may be like towards the end. Things may be cooling down. So be very cautious of your emotions running out of place right now. Do not take any actions in haste. Okay. Um, even if someone is pissing you off or trying, someone is trying to get some type of reaction out of you, stay calm uh, and approach things with a diplomatic um, method of doing things. I'm trying to figure out how to put that. Uh, in the negative side, some of you may be feeling uninspired, so maybe you need to do things that make you happy, that put you in a positive light. Try to remember why you started doing something so that you can keep going forward with it. Um, but if you're feeling uninspired, that is just a temporary experience. Um, don't let that linger for too long. Also, be cautious of taking any type of unnecessary journey. Make sure there's intent and there's purpose in what it is you're doing when you, when you uh, I don't know if you're going on vacation, you're going on some type of trip. Make sure that it is something that you are doing with people that you trust and something that has a purpose behind it. Uh, don't just go somewhere because... I don't know what it is, but I'm just being told to tell someone don't don't take any type of don't go on any type of journey with haste. Think about what you're doing before you take that action. Make sure that you're getting something out of it. OK, if it's a vacation, obviously you're getting fulfillment out of that healing, relaxation and things like that. Um, if it's just you going on some type of trip um because i don't know maybe you met someone online just be cautious of things like that or taking a trip to go and give someone a piece of your mind don't do things like that um i guess that's what i'm trying to stay to say um so let's go ahead and get started so someone may be out here being uh unrealistic about a situation there could be a wealthy man in here that has some type of problem he's dealing with something is out of balance this could be someone that's very greedy and wanting to take some type of impulsive action to cause someone some type of heartbreak or distress to keep you bonded to some type of situation so someone may want to say something to you uh someone may want to take something that belongs to you someone may want to lie or prevent someone else from giving you or balancing something out when it comes to your finances because this person wants to have what it is you have um or you're supposed to have someone does not want you being content in life so someone is planning on taking some type of action to make sure that you don't receive what it is that's yours but that's gonna backfire horribly the reason why someone is trying to do this is because they're losing a lot of emotions behind the scenes someone it stands to lose quite a lot it's that when you get what is yours, someone loses everything. So maybe the way they receive what it is that they have was not through just way. Someone is not ethical. Someone is immoral. Because if the Six of Pentacles is out here showing up in the reverse, this means that this is someone very materialistic, someone very greedy. Someone may be like a poor money manager. Someone may just be like someone that hoards a lot, but they know overspend. So as far as hoarding, I'm talking more so like someone that takes a little bit too much from other people and never gives. Um, but even though they're taking and have a lot coming in, then they over splurge, they over, they over splurge, they over indulge in certain things. So this is someone very greedy and poor with managing money. And they may be taking some type of action either. To, and I guess that will go with the room that we receive. They may be taking some type of action to come in and cause you distress or heartbreak. Maybe someone wants to end you. Maybe someone's sending some type of negative energy towards you. Someone's lying on you. Someone may be crying a lot behind the scenes and they're stuck in their mind as well. Maybe this is the repercussion of, of some type of action someone took in the past or this is something they're planning on taking or we're just being shown what someone is going through. Um, right now, they are in some type of mental entrapment or they may even be feeling entrapped 
in a situation, whether this is a marriage, an institution, job, whatever this is, someone has put themselves in a really deplorable energy and reality because of what they try to do to someone else. You could be an emperor they were trying to take out. You could be an empress they were trying to take out. But someone was trying to dismantle your foundation and have people seeing you in some type of lighting that is not justifiable and it has backfired horribly. This could have to do something with a relationship. As far as like a partnership, I don't know if this is like a romantic relationship. It could be more so business with this five of pentacles coming out um there may be something where they don't want you and someone forming some type of alliance um one i think you may have other people behind the scenes like a lover or someone that's interested in working with you or this just could just be an institution the head of an institution wanting to work with you and people have been working hard to make sure that does not come to um fruition but out of that <coughs> excuse me <coughs> all of that is being balanced out as you can see, whoever took this reckless action or whoever is going to take this reckless action uh, because they don't want this collaboration coming into being, someone is going to end up losing everything. So they're maybe they're not aware of how something is going to play out right now. They're just in the planning stages or the plotting stages. If you take that action, this is what's going to end for you. Uh, this is gonna, what's, This is what's going to happen for you. You're going to lose a lot of support, a lot of friends and family. You may even be someone that's lost a lot with the fact that you're out here in this five of pentacles energy. You may be looking for new opportunities and things like that. And it's about to be very hard to find uh, opportunities. I heard work opportunities. Is that whatever institutions you're about to go to, applying for jobs and things of that nature, they're going to tell you we're not hiring. So you're going to be out here very, very... Uh, I don't know in some you're going to be in some type of situation that you've been plotting from someone for someone else and this is the universe balancing this situation out because i think you were being given time to let go of something or to see something from a higher perspective but your greed has been getting a hold has taken a hold of you and you've been like this for a long time some are very greedy so you stand to lose quite a lot <clears throat> Now, I'm seeing the Knight of Wands out here. So, I don't know if you are a Knight of Wands um, or maybe you stole from a Knight of Wands. You made sure that a Knight of Wands did not get what was his. <clears throat> it must be true because it's like someone that's not woman talking about this. I was doing just fine until I sat here to do this message. Now, I have to clear my throat every, <clears throat> every two seconds. Someone stole something or someone did not give something to a knight of wands they stole something so this knight of wands too because he didn't receive what was his he may be crying a lot behind the scenes maybe feeling entrapped so he may end up leaving some type of institution because something is being illuminated to him that he was not aware of maybe he was expecting some type of payment from an institution or some type of inheritance so that he could move on yeah so he could move on with his life and balance things out but whoever was supposed to give him this uh six of pentacles they did not give it to him but the universe is st stepping in to balance things out so this knight of wands may be leaving this institution then to go and work uh, on himself to balance things out kind of heal and recover from this betrayal so then he's going to end up working with whoever it is that he's supposed to be working with people may be burdened about this change that he's making it's almost i'm hearing that someone stole something from someone or kept something from someone <clears throat> To keep them in a deplorable energy, to keep them in a low vibrational energy to prevent them from being able to move on with their life. So this is like someone trying to control your life, not just your mental, but your emotional, your environment, your emotional state of being, your environment, your connections, basically gatekeeping you unjustly, right? So this is what he did to him. Him. This could be a man that did this to someone. He held on to something or took something took a little bit too much than he should have or he wasn't even even supposed to take any at all you were supposed to receive some type of financial payout some type of justice either from an institution like a court case because the six of pentacles in the upright typically has to do with people of high honor with that skill out here he could be someone that's like a law official maybe like a judge or someone now i'm not saying that the judge is the one maybe it could be but there is someone of high high honor that is very greedy that could be like a wealthy man that's very greedy and does a little bit too much to hold on to money um 
something was supposed to be given to a knight of wands and he did not give it to him and it has left this knight of wands feeling betrayal feeling just you know like at the end of his role but he's still moving on with his life so it's like something backfiring on an enemy they try to block your forward movement, but it's that regardless of what it is they did, you still choose to move on and balance things out. And your ancestors are commending you because you will still receive what is it, what it is that's yours. You still will become what it is you're supposed to be. You will have that growth. You are supported by the universe. If this had to do with a relationship or your creativity be sto being stolen, it will be balanced out. You will be restored when it comes to your energy. You will be out here with a lot of uh, a lot of ideas because you're someone very innovative. Your thinking cap is always on coming up with, with ideas on how to either come up with streams of income, how to uh, create new stream. Uh, uh, like, what is it I want to say? Like, someone does not want this coming out. Like, you're someone very innovative. So you always have options, right? Someone may have been trying to strip you off of their ability so that you can stay stuck in a situation and not have a lot of options or limit your options but you are someone who's like a hermit you're always thinking you do a lot of introspection or maybe you are at this stage in your life where you have to do a lot of introspection so that you can master yourself and balance things in your life move on and take charge of your life with the support of the universe as well. The cards came out the scene. The universe is absolutely supporting you. Um, there could be a queen of pentacles in here as well. So, uh, I think there are two queen of pentacles. One is a divine feminine and the other is uh, someone that operates from their lower energy. One is going through loss, rejection, isolation, and things like that, while the other, the divine feminine, is going through some type of growth in life, okay? Because there's some type of balance that's being brought into a situation. So if the the karmic queen of pentacles, if she took something from you or tried to block you or stop you from receiving something, then she's losing everything because that's what she was intending for you. Now, everything that is supposed to be yours is being given to you. And then some because of collateral damages, emotional damage, something like that. And you know your ancestors have possibly been bombastic side eyeing someone behind the scenes. Are you going to keep going with this? We don't told you one and too many times to so stop doing what it is you're doing. But you want to keep moving forward, right, with this nonsense. So right now this woman is living in fear because something she's been doing has been illuminated. If it has to do with your character or your intellect, people are seeing you as a queen of source, someone very intellectual. So maybe when you met a group of people or someone, maybe maybe you met them as like a queen of cups, page of cups energy. Um, but maybe someone didn't know you were an empress or maybe you were still developing that aspect of yourself becoming uh, the all in one. OK, so right now someone may want to come towards you to talk to you, maybe apologize or go to uh, have some type of closure with you. But you're kind of in your queen of source energy predominantly. And it's a reason for that because you know what people have been doing behind the scenes. You as the knight of wands, whatever it is you are going through, uh, it's kind of justice because I think you were warned about something in advance and you did not pay attention or did not take heed to wisdom. So this is the, uni yeah, I said this is the universe. Maybe look what came out. This is the universe causing an ending for you because one you may have taken from someone in the past that you were not supposed to take from so this is the universe bringing judgment into a situation the universe has called judgment and it is final so you are destined to go through this so that things can be balanced out is I'm hearing you have to experience what you put someone else through or what you try to put someone else through. You may have been taking some type of impulsive action to do something. And I don't know what it is. Maybe there are two different Knight of Wands in here. But for the one I'm seeing in here, you are you you may have done some type of betrayal, play some type of mind game to have someone left out in the cold but all of that is being balanced out and this is leading to some type of ending like you're going through some type of karma with that ten of swords coming out there lets me know that you are absolutely going through karma maybe you were working with some with a king of cups reversed or uh, something like that to hinder someone's abundance to hinder someone's uh, uh resources i'm telling you and maybe you want to come towards someone now to apologize and they don't have any type of fond memories of you maybe you are feeling a 
nostalgic at the moment about someone being a true love or something like that or you having a lot of emotions for someone but it's not reciprocated so this is causing a lot of problems for you uh you may be working really hard i guess maybe to balance things in your life you may be even thinking about getting married whatever this is but whoever it is you're coming towards i think they've moved on with their life and you're gonna have to move on because this is someone that's starting a whole new journey in life you all may have done something or you may have done something to block someone's new beginnings yeah you were trying to hold on to what belongs to someone and now this is being done to you whatever you were trying to keep someone else from having is what's happening to you you are being controlled your 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 destiny your path or whatever this is however someone is viewing the situation they feel like they have control over your destiny your path where your options and things like that so something is being reciprocated but in due time it will be balanced out maybe you didn't know now but now you know and you're trying to keep your distance from these people you may be living in fear and or anxiety or maybe this is these people living in fear in anxiety because you're still choosing to move on and balance things out in your life because now you have foresight of what people were really doing to block you stop you destroy you hinder your opportunities and offers and things like that and now you are choosing what to move on your way down and burden because now you have to figure out how it is you're going to come back to someone with this ace uh, with this six of cups out here you are seeing someone as angelic like a temperance energy this is how you're seeing someone that you may have betrayed in the past with this three of swords followed by the eight of wands out here you betray someone heavily and now that you see them for who they are you want to come back towards them and give them some type of offer or reunite with them but this temperance energy does not have any type of good memories of you because you may have scarred someone and i don't think they're sit because these kind of energies the temperance energies they don't hold on to like hate or animosity or anything like that they're too far advanced especially if they're coming out as a hermit and higher fin energy with the ace of wands energy these are people that wake and the magician these are people that wake up every day brand new it's like they leave yesterday in yesterday and they move on but trust in uh believe that they've learned their lesson it's not that they're holding grudges against you it's just that they've learned their lesson and they're choosing to move on yeah they're choosing to move on to better and bigger things in life choosing to heal choosing to ascend choosing to elevate in a lot of different ways it could be spiritually physically mentally psychologically whatever i believe psychologically and mentally are the same but we are going to just go with whatever come out during the reading and trust that source is the one feeding us the information um but this temperance energy higher level so may whoever this is this is someone you were meant to work with but you betrayed them heavily you may have had a contract with this person but maybe at some point in your life you were feeling yourself so you may have betrayed this person heavily maybe stood by and allowed people to do something to this temperance energy and you never knew that they were this energy and something has come back to bite you in the behind really horribly so now you may want to reconnect with them and they don't want to reconnect with you because it's a uh you know i forgive you for what you did but what if you end up doing the same thing to me and end up trying to control me just to have people out here doing things to me so why in the past when you were trying to hold on to someone or trap them gatekeep them control them this is what's going on with you and maybe you yeah this is what's going on with you and maybe you didn't know that this is the end of the role you you have some type of karmic lesson that you have to learn this cycle of toxicity because i keep getting a group of people trying to block two people from meeting trying to end two people trying to end a feminine trying to just cloud a masculine's judgment or his mental it's like they don't want him seeing and this is not you this is someone else i'm picking up on they don't want this masculine seeing someone as an equal they don't want some a uh, masculine seeing a feminine energy as someone that's balanced someone that's healed so they're saying hey you don't really have fun memories of that person whatever memories you you had of them it was an illusion they're not really gentle they're not really genuine they're not kind-hearted they're not very intellectual at all but i think he may be putting an end to this uh, for the moment going through some type of rebirth to balance things in his life and for this empress energy that he finds to be very hard working and whatever balance he chooses to bring in the situation is going to enable the both of them to move on and i don't know if these two are going to end up working together whether in business or whatnot but i would throw it with caution empress energy because 
there's some type of ill intent for someone that's coming towards you they're still operating out of their ego so they may still be coming towards you to cause you some type of loss while you have someone that wants to apologize to you you have another person that wants to end you so they want to come in with a manipulative tactic and make it seem like they are coming in to support you like they now want to invest in something that you have going on only for them to end up you know uh causing an ending for you and they want to make it seem like it's a natural disaster which is not a natural disaster so just be wary stay on the lookout uh, there's some type of shock that's going on between a group of people that collaborated behind the scenes they may be finding out that you are someone actually loyal someone very intellectual very skilled and gifted someone very talented and humble in life uh, maybe someone may have lied on you and this led to people misreading you or uh, maybe there was someone doing a little bit too much behind the scenes and feeding people the wrong information people may be walking away due to this truth that's been reviewed or maybe people are looking a little bit harder into something okay but something has been revealed that you are a lawyer you are intellectual you are someone that's open-minded uh you do you know put in the effort to learn what it is that you need to know in order to thrive in life and to be of a, a um productive person i guess in your life and in the life of other people like you are committed to what it is you do when i split my deck initially when i started it's, it's split on the eight of pentacles right so that lets me know that you are someone that's very dedicated to your cause your purpose your work and you don't play no games about any of that you don't care what people are doing um in your life whatever it is you need to do you're going to do it for example uh, I'm in a weird situation right now where it's like people are trying to do like funny things behind the scenes to kind of cause me frustration. It's not working, but it is what it is. So, for example, the building I live in, we have like washing machines in the basement, right? And the washing machines were initially uh, managed by the washing machine company, whatever they're called. But the we we when I initially moved in, we had different management. That management company doesn't manage this business, this company, this building anymore. Uh, but they have a new uh, uh, company now that manages it, and I'm pretty sure I'm aware of who it is that's that came and took over this company. And I'm just I mean took took over this building to manage it, and I'm just gonna leave that part out. But what it is you're doing now is that when I go to wash, they'll turn off the machine or they'll disconnect the services so that I'm not able to wash. Uh, I guess because maybe someone wants me out here looking deplorable and mismanaged, unclean, unkept. That's not my energy. So I don't know if they know I'm from Africa. We wash clothes with our hands. So yesterday when they did their little funny business, I keep home in my apartment wash my clothes and everything when i took it down to dry it the dryer was working and everything we put the money in there started the dryer they went and turned the dryer off so you know what i just came out came back upstairs you know hung my clothes up they dry just fine it is what it is it's things like that you got to be aware of of people trying to do to your energy just to get a reaction of you and you gotta just kind of pray for the, i don't i mean you don't have to but you kind of just got to let those kind of people f learn things the hard way because maturity is a choice and sometimes people choose not to be mature and also something i've been told to tell a lot of you that are going through this uh just keep your your mind on positive thoughts for the karmics i'm being told to tell you all don't take anything you're not willing to lose meaning whatever you're trying to take from someone don't take it if you're not willing to lose that in life okay um so Whoever this is could be like a Sagittarius with the temperance energy out here. I tell you, the past month, month and a half, it's been the Aries, the Leos, and the Sagittarius coming out in reading. So they must be out here up to something. Hopefully they're the good kind, or it could be a karmic kind of a Sagittarius out here. I don't know what it is, but honey, hopefully they're doing the right thing out here. But I just know they've been coming out repeatedly in the readings because they have a like, oh, baby, I don't think so. Oh, they never keep him out so this is someone extremely alarming whoever this Sagittarius is 
who, baby this is someone that's very greedy that overindulges uh someone may be a little pissed off maybe because you don't have any fun memories of them maybe they did stuff that you know that they did and they didn't realize that you were aware that they were causing you hindrances behind the scenes yeah they were causing you conflict behind the scenes trying to make your life difficult as much as possible uh and so now because someone is not able to trap you because you're not sitting around uh having like you know, like sometimes there are people that sit around and they romanticize other people. You're not romanticizing anyone with this six of cups in the reverse. Like you may not even be thinking of someone. You're just kind of focused on your path because you already know someone has been doing a little bit too much behind the scenes. Um, there's something about like a thick cause center thing that's going on. It's like there's a, there's a group of people that have dedicated themselves to causing a lot of blockages and communications and things like that. So they may be out here interfering with people's communications. Let's say like you're using, you're reaching out to YouTube or something. There's someone out here, either they have some type of internal access and they are uh, pretending to be from YouTube or they have some type of insider help at YouTube where it, they are doing things to hinder communications and things like that. So if something is going on with your platform and you reach out to YouTube, well, it's going to someone that's, that has been paid to keep their eye on your channel. So if you make any type of reports, it may be like three, four people, whatever. It's a whole department that's been formed to intercede your communication so that something is not balanced out. Let's say you're calling AT&T, Verizon or something. There's some type of intersection, inter, inter, there's some type of interjection that's taking place. So you're not really talking to those companies or if you are talking to those companies, it is somebody that has been hired or paid to keep an eye on your account. So they're working off the clock or they have some group of people like a, i don't know how to explain it but it's like a fake call center they're monitoring your calls every time you make a call they are redirecting their call to themselves so they answer and they pretend to be from those companies or something like that so just be mindful there's a sagittarius out here or a community out here that may be kind of pissed off angry at the moment because this is someone that was trying to trap you but was not able to trap you and is going to have to move on they may be also upset with the fact that you know it's them that's been doing things behind the scenes to hinder you someone has been trying to communicate with you yeah this is the truth you have full clarity of who's been doing what behind the scenes uh and it's now who it is they want you to believe it is it's like someone being like in the background of you doing something malicious but trying to pretend like it's somebody else doing it like let's say you have someone for example let's say you have someone that's interested in you uh, and you're interested in them and then you have someone else that's interested in you but you're not interested in them maybe they went to the extent of invading your privacy getting into your systems and things like that and they're trying to make it seem like it is the person you're interested in that is doing things to you or invading your privacy instead of them so someone has been doing that for a long time um and this is the god's honest truth this truth and clarity is enabling someone to move on with their life um this sagittarius or whoever this is this temperance energy he's not a real temperance energy but whoever this person is is about to be going through some type of stalemate just like he was trying to cause you a stalemate uh you could have a king of wands that may want to come towards you to give you some type of marital offer work with you whatever this is throw with caution because someone is not who they seem to be at the uh, uh, at face value there's some type of ulterior motives for the reason why people are coming towards you okay so this is the truth being illuminated to you and your ancestors are telling you to pay attention someone may want to apologize to you but because they want to balance something out and it may be because they're going through a lot of losses they want to close out this chapter i'm telling you this sagittarius here has a lot of emotions like for you like someone wishes for you someone has a lot of emotions for you but this is someone that pretends to not have uh, any emotions because this is like someone that's in that devilish energy they've been trying to control you uh there may be a bit of a jealousy as well and i don't know what this has to do with because it's very weird for me when men are jealous of women because that's not how we're supposed to be in life typically men are supposed to be there to guide 
and support women regardless if it's your brother your your spouse your boss or whatever they're supposed to be there to guide women and women are supposed to be there to guide them as well so it's an equal partnership regardless of what it is but this man whoever i'm picking up on is someone very karmic someone very toxic may need healing maybe needing your help as well to heal uh to self-actualize and things like that but the fact is that this is like a stalemate because this is someone that's been trying to end you behind the scenes. So like, how can they now come in and ask you to be practical about a situation when they are the ones that's, that kind of uh, um, declare war against you? So now it's like, oh, well, you tried to destroy me. You tried to end me. Uh, you slander my character, defame me or whatever this is. You tried to isolate me from people, places and things from opportunities and now you want to come in and ask me for help and it's showing up that this could be someone very greedy there could be something where he does not want this knight of wands communicating with you there's something that a lot of them did like both of them are guilty of something and in order for them to come towards you they're going to have to confess something to you bring something to your attention and it's going to be up to you to choose to be practical about the situation you don't have to get in a partnership with these people you can just choose to listen to them and move on with your life i don't think you're holding on to any grudges with you showing up as the star seed but this devilish energy is wishing to communicate with you with you may want to balance something out maybe someone sees you as like someone they can work with now to generate some type of business or ten of pentacles energy okay i split the deck and that's a yes they want to work with you to have some type of success together but be mindful because this is someone that i don't i don't this is like a narcissist i'm sorry i'm just gonna say it this is a narcissist but someone knows that you're meant for the public eye but they don't want you to be seen because they don't want you to have options someone wants your only option to be them but this could be someone that's also married i don't know if this has to do with like them also being in uh, a toxic relationship with someone they've been with for a long time someone very karmic maybe this is someone they've been around since childhood as well um and they've been stuck with this person. Maybe they want to leave, but they feel trapped. They're wishing to be free as well. But this man here, there's something about him that you need to be on the lookout for. He's not what he seems at face value. There's something dark beneath the surface. So don't just accept any type of offer from this person. There's some type of ulterior motive. He has some type of attachment to someone from his childhood that is very karmic and toxic just like him. Okay, the both of them, they have some type of agreement, some type of karmic agreement together. And until he can end that karmic agreement with him or her, do not entertain this person because this is someone with ulterior motives. Okay, you could have someone that's trying to hold on to him and prevent him from moving forward. And yeah, she's trying to hold on to him. Like she wants them to stay together. She said, uh, let's get together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he is trying to do something very cunning. And I don't know if this man is coming in with genuine intent. I'm telling you, there's something like you need to pay attention to when it comes to this man. This man is trapped in something. I don't know if he's not able to get out of it. He may be in some type of horrible contract with this woman or this man, institution, community, whatever this is. Uh, this is the person that's been helping these people have some type of celebration when it comes to defeating you behind the scenes. Um, and now he needs you. Maybe you're not there. You're not willing to talk to this person. You're not willing to uh balance things out with this person you don't need any closure from this person uh, this is the person that's been wishing to block your wish fulfillments and things like that is that you're you know uh, uh, uh working hard to move towards something success and things like that so it's like it's like a group of people thinking that they're very relevant in someone's destiny or their path like they have the power to make some type of decision in someone else's life and the universe steps in to humble them um so now there's something where it's like they need you but you are nowhere to be found so this man is out here wishing to have wish fulfillment with you like someone has a lot of desires for you with the star and the nine of cups coming out here someone sees you as a complete complete 
package. But the problem is that there's a stalemate because someone is trapped in their mind about what it is they did to you. Someone tried to trap you and stop your forward movement altogether. But now he has to come in to kind of tell the truth. It's like this is the moment of truth confession. Like you're either going to come with the 100% or you're going to have to stay where it is you are. But someone may also know they cannot come in with the games. Like you don't have time. This man wants to build a ten of pentacles with you. It's like I don't also... I, I'm also hearing that he's in competition with another masculine. It could be this king of, I mean, this knight of wands. And I don't know who this knight of wands is, but baby, if you are an empress, you don't got no business dealing with a knight of wands. You don't got no business dealing with someone toxic trying to hold on to their past. Let them be where they are until they let go of the past. Don't entertain that, okay? Because some I'm telling you, someone is coming in with ulterior motives. He's not going to tell you everything. He's not going to tell you that he's still married. He's still attached to his childhood partner or whoever this is because these two could be linked together in business or something like that. And he's not going to come and tell you that, hey, I'm still married or I'm still in a relationship with this person. No, he's going to come in and tell you a whole lot of lies. And you're going to have the responsibility and obligation to listen to your intuition about this person because this is someone also that may be into a lot of dark forms of magic when it comes to manipulation. Uh, he feels stuck right now, wants, but still wants to come in and give you some type of offer of friendship and things like that. Like he's leaving. I don't know what he's leaving, an institution, a family, a relationship to come in and give you an offer. With this devil car out here, I don't know. Uh, it might just be, listen, I'm going to try to see it from another standpoint. Maybe he's not with this woman or this man anymore with the Six of Cups being in the reverse. Maybe he said, no, you and I don't have a contract together. I don't want to be with you. Uh, I wish you well. You know, if there's some type of splitting up of assets, maybe he's doing that. Instead of him wanting to stay with the woman from his past, his childhood, where they're not happy together, he has a lot of emotions for you. The, the devil has a lot to do with, like, desires and things like that and then you have the star you have the nine of cups someone has a whole lot of desires and emotions for you and it's kind of alarming so you need to be careful with this person don't rush into anything make sure that you actually take the time to get to know this person that's coming towards you i don't know why this man is showing up in his temperance energy maybe he's doing the work behind the scenes uh to fix himself but this is a lot of desires to have for someone. That's a whole lot of desires, especially with the moon that keeps showing up repeatedly. That's a whole lot of desires. It could also be that he's hiding his desires for you, that maybe he's hiding his emotions for you. Um, but there is something you need to be very wary of when it comes to this man. Please, okay? I'm telling you, this man has a lot of emotions for you. And maybe it's not that he's dark. It just could be that he has to hide his emotions. Maybe because people around him are intimidated by his emotions for you. Because maybe they're speaking very ill of you to him. And try to dis discourage him from making you an offer. But instead, I mean, he has a lot of, he has a lot of emotions for you. Like, I, I keep hearing that. Someone, like, someone is, like, I don't even know what to say. Like, the someone has a lot of emotions and desires and maybe he may even be heartbroken if he comes towards you and you reject him that's not something he will be able to recover from easily because this is someone that's like your their whole world may revolve around you or something like that with the ace of cups out here i think i'm being corrected that he does have some genuine emotions for you like a lot of emotions for you but i will like, I would throw it with caution. Please. Yeah, throw it with caution. <laughs> throw it with caution. Like, someone now has foresight that you are the right choice for, I don't know, like, you are the right choice for them to work with. And I don't want to say, like, in relationship, but, like, in business, in a community, and things like that. Okay, so what I'm also picking up is that someone may end up giving you some type of position or work opportunity, but they're doing it with the intent of maybe you and them having some type of relationship later on in life. 
This is someone that thinks and plans everything they do. Okay. I don't know. I don't know about this one. Like this is a king of pentacles. Someone very successful in life, maybe wanting to come in and give you something. Um, but just be very practical about it. Someone sees you as very business savvy. You may refuse an offer from this person and decide to move on your own and focus on your dreams. Support yourself and things like that so that you can have that fulfillment. And you are someone that's meant to be in the public eye. I'm telling you. And you're choosing. Maybe you're choosing yourself because you know someone has been doing too much behind the scenes. I don't know what this is, but there's some type of tower. There's, I keep seeing the tower in the uh, hanging man. There's some type of prophecy that's playing out in these people's life. Some type of truth has been revealed. Maybe something you said uh, revealed something or a illuminated something to him or a community. And it has put a hook to someone's plan and things like that. Um, there's something I'm also hearing that this man is deciding to take action. Like he, someone has been sitting on a plan for a long time and he said, no, I can't. Yeah. He's taking action. He said, yeah, I can't sit around anymore waiting, waiting and waiting. So he may end up taking some type of action instead of laying around thinking about stuff. He's not thinking about it anymore. Like he said, I'm, I'm going for it. I'm going for it. Like someone knows you are the actual queen of swords in the upright hardworking as heck, very loyal and dedicated, someone with foresight. So it could be like there was some type of unknown unknown battle to you between you and another queen of swords, but the other queen of swords may be someone that operates from their lower energy, their low vibrational. So there's something where in like the dark community, they think like the queen of swords is someone that's, ma that's supposed to be manipulated. Someone that's very cunning, someone that's power hungry, uh, someone that's, that is able to manipulate other people because they feel good when they can control people. That's not what the queen of swords is about. That's the, that's the darker side of the queen of swords. The queen of swords is someone that's very astute very intellectual with very strong character, right? Someone very independent, organized, articulate, um, someone that operates on principle. So you're not really going to see them when they operate from their high energy, high vibrational energy. You're not going to see them trying to control people. That's not something that, that's likely. Um, what they do is they analyze situation way before you even approach them because these kind of people, they're so mentally intact and in touch that oftentimes they will have an awareness of what you're coming towards them with, but they won't say anything. They will just sit back and let you make the move. Right? So there's something where in like the dark community, they tend to have the queen of swords kind of misunderstood is she doesn't care about power because she already knows that like, who she is at a core. Right? So she doesn't even have to prove who she is to anyone. She doesn't have to prove her power, her intellect. When people are not very intellectual and people don't really have any power and people don't really naturally respect them, that's when they feel like they have to prove something to other people. I'm more powerful than you. I'm more manipulative than you. The queen of swords in the upright, when she picks up, especially with someone showing up as the justice, a uh, Libra energy, they bring balance into situations. When she picks up on that mindset of yours and figures out how you move, she'll distance herself from you. She's not going to have any type of word to word with you, word to word, come back, nothing. She'll just kind of keep her distance and let you do your thing over there. But just know if you come in her lane and try to be as her, be as her around, she'll check you at the door. But it's going to be done in a tactful and diplomatic way. Okay. But that's something I've picked up on in the dark community. They tend to think like the queen of swords is someone that's cunning, someone that's calculative, very malicious and spiteful, is out deceiving people, using her words to manipulate and do spell works. That's not what the queen of swords is about when she's in the upright. So I guess in their community, since it's a darker side, the reverse side of the queen of swords, they are using it appropriately. But in the light community, she does not represent any of that. And she will never indulge in those types of behavior, especially if she's aware of who she is uh, as a queen of swords. 
it's one thing to do something and you don't know that you are doing something wrong but once you become aware of it you put a halt to it you stop doing it right that's what that's where their saying comes into play where it says when you know better you do better that's how a lot of us should be but there are people in like the dark communities they just never let go of things they hold on to things that other people have done like from 20 or 30 years ago or they hold on to things that you've done due to the fact that they've been tempering with your life and things like that they forget to mention that part they'll come out and say oh see she called me a b what did you do behind the scenes for her to call you a b you need to mention that part but some a lot of the times these kind of people They'll leave that part out uh, and they'll just go around smearing your characters, telling people that you're very uh, negative, you're very uh, dishonest, you're this, you're that, you're a thief, you're a liar, you're a killer, you're all these things. But it's like, what did you do to that person for them to do all of that? Because if you have people that can meet someone at face value and see that they're in the upright, they're very hardworking and very insightful and bring a lot to the table and they don't pick a fight with people, but for some reason, they rejected you. Why did they reject you? What did you do to them? Because it seems like it's unlikely. It's not characteristic of them to just be out here rejecting people. So there's something like that. I, I get a feeling, too, there's a masculine or a feminine that got people in some type of collaboration to take someone down, block someone's forward movement, and then they were doing things behind the scenes to interfere with this person's energy and things like this so then if you talk to that person they sound agitated but you don't know that they have people doing things to them behind the scenes and that's why they are agitated there was absolutely a collaboration to block someone's pathway offers celebration abundance bounties and things like that but when you go to talk to that person they sound agitated and you don't know why they sound agitated because when they're not going to tell you what it is that that's going on. That's how the Queen of Swords moves as well. She keeps everything to herself until it's, or his self, until it's time to disclose what is going on. But there's a group that's been doing a lot behind the scenes and something is playing out like it was supposed to the whole time. But just know if you are the divine feminine, divine masculine, that's been in some type of conflict or just some type of weird energy where people are just coming after you doing things to you and you just don't know why they're doing it it is all coming to an end the universe is stepping in to resolve this in, uh, situation for you you are someone that will be celebrated whether you, you are supposed to be on a platform whether you're supposed to be you know in a, a fortune 500 company whatever it is you will get to your destination in due time. The universe is balancing things out, especially with this temperance and ace of cups out here. Your creativity is being given back to you. Something may have been paused because maybe you had a lot of people doing some energy harvesting. So maybe your ancestors or your angels, they put a pause on your creativity, your downloads and things like that, or your, your ideas. Maybe they put a hole on there until this situation could be resolved and then now they're about to be pouring even more into you because whatever it is that you do is very essential or is going to be very essential to the masses okay um but also what i'm picking up on on this six of cups in the reverse with the freaking four of swords in the reverse this is letting me know that there is some type of relationship from someone's childhood that is over like he's not planning on staying he does not want to be committed to this person anymore so he's moving on so maybe there's something where this man is going through healing maybe he used to be karmic especially with this eight of swords out here maybe he used to be karmic maybe he used to be very manipulative maybe that's something he's learning to work on because as you can see he's leaving all of that out in the cold being greedy being very impulsive betraying people being uh 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 just disloyal and things like that being very manipulative someone he stays in his mind and overthinks a lot as well so this is someone maybe he was easily triggered in the past maybe he thought you did something to him and you never did anything to him maybe he thought you said something about him but you never said anything about him uh maybe people told him that, that Oh, you know, you know, she said this about you. She told me that you are this or, you know, she she was the one playing with your money or something like that. But maybe you didn't do any of those things. Maybe he doesn't realize that people were telling him you did certain things just so that there would be some type of distance between the two of you 
one due to jealousy or maybe someone from his past or someone in the background of him telling people to do something to you um, and he didn't know but maybe the truth is coming out or maybe you said something in his presence that he took out of context all of those that maybe he should have spoken to you about if he misunderstood what you said maybe this is someone you know he's never had that opportunity to be able to ask someone hey what it is you what are you saying what do you mean by that okay and that's why i always say like just be straightforward with people if they say something to you and it doesn't make sense or it makes you feel some type of way like ask them like hey what do you mean by that instead of you just jumping to conclusions and thinking that they're coming after you when you reside in that kind of energy it lets negative people dark people know that they can have control of you so it, there's nothing wrong with asking someone for clarity uh, I know there's something I had to learn and that's why I'm reiterating that on my platform is that I used to be when I was younger I used to kind of just jump to a conclusion and thought that I knew what people were saying and things like that but I got to an age where I'm like you know what I'm just gonna ask them what it is they're saying what do you mean by that I don't like that what blah, 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 blah. you know it's not the end of the world if they don't like it oh well but you are doing a due diligence to yourself to get clarity of a situation so one you don't end up losing a friendship or a relationship that's very imperative to you right so there's something about this man's mental with the uh, three of swords eight of swords and this five of pentacles this is someone that lives in fear and anxiety a lot he overthinks everything so because he overthinks everything he's not exactly thinking before he moves it's just that oh she said that to me or about me she must not like me. She must be out for me. So I'm going to get her before she get me. You know, like that Medea scene with Dr. Phil. He said, why do you feel like you got to get everybody? And she said, well, if they get me, get me. Then I got to get them, get them, get them back or something like that. Th this is the energy this person has been in. But what he doesn't realize is that you were never out to get this person. You never had a vendetta against this person. You never really uh, was disloyal towards someone as well. If you know who they are, um, people may, ju may just have told him a lot of lies and he went with it because they understood him to be someone that's stuck in his mind a lot. He's, he's put himself in some type of mental self-imposed mental imprisonment and it could have a lot to do with his childhood not being very balanced with this six of cups in the reverse out here this is someone that had a lot of hardship in their childhood so even if he is successful in life this is someone that holds on to a lot of money or uh, holds on to his wealth because he's afraid of ending up in poverty um, so this is someone that hoards a lot and they may also overindulge a lot so someone has some type of poor ma money management habit that he needs to work on but there's something in this man's childhood that he dealt with that's very karmic and toxic maybe it has to do with his father or just everybody in his life his relationship when it comes to the romantic side maybe someone has never really been in love maybe someone has always just had option or things like that so he's never really thought that he will he will fall in love but maybe he fell in love with you because he's having a lot of desires out here for you and i'm telling you you got the devil, which has to do with a lot of desires. It could be on the darker side. So maybe someone thinks a lot about the things they can do with you. And then you have him seeing you as wish fulfillment, like someone that can heal him. He sees you as a blessing to the world and things like that. And he sees you as someone that can balance him out. So this person could be very uh, content when it comes to finances, but he's maybe single or whatever this is. And maybe he feels that you can balance him out. So people may be feeling very distressed. Um, behind the scenes with the fact that he is desiring you and wants to be with you doesn't want to be single anymore but there is some type of still may going on and it has to do again with the people around him maybe telling him lies and then him being stuck in his mind instead of taking the blindfold off like just take the blindfold of try to see things from a higher perspective it's like the universe has been telling someone you need to see things from a different perspective this is not what you think it is so someone may have had some type of misconception about you and now they're being forced to see things for exactly what it is it's like no i'm telling you he's being forced to see things for what it is so now he may be seeing you as someone that he can build with have a family with or even build an empire with uh, but this is someone that's afraid to come towards you and this is why when they get out of this stalemate they're just coming in with a friendship because they don't know how it's going to go is that i don't know if she's going to talk to me if he's going to talk to me 
I don't know, you know, if they see me in the same way that I see them. And this is because someone has done a little bit too much behind the, the scenes. And they don't want you to put her into all of these, these emotions that they have for you. Because someone says, I've never had this kind of emotions for someone before. Like, I'm out here good looking. Got my white teeth and things like that, you know. My teeth are sparkling white. I got some money in the bank. Why the heck am I cut up on this little heifer that don't got nothing going on for themselves or something? And I bring more to the table is what he's telling himself. But the universe is humbling this man. This is why this five of pentacles is out here too. They're humbling him. They said, we don't give two Fs about what it is you have in your bank account. Your character is what we're looking at. So you need to fix it. Um, but someone is very much like in love with you. So you're going to have to be very cautious of how you respond to this person because you are unlike anyone this person has ever met before a lot of the people he has interacted with has been in this energy or uh, they've been very false they pretend to be something they're not and a lot of people have betrayed him because when they get in his energy they kind of study him and find out immediately that this is someone that's very gullible someone that's in his mind a lot someone that's uh mentally not as strong as they should be when it comes to thinking for themselves and people take advantage of that. Maybe he's realizing that you're not someone that ever had any type of ulterior motive that you actually extended like a genuine friendship to someone you actually liked someone as a friend and you didn't have any type of ulterior motive for why you were talking to them, why you were giving to them. And maybe people came in and said, no, she's greedy. She's impulsive. She's reckless. She sleeps around. She betrayed you. She lied about you. Uh, you know, she left from here because she didn't want you to find out that she was working with other people or sleeping with other people and had options and things like that. But now he's finding out that all of that was BS. So now he's going to come in and have to have some type of closure with you, balance things out. And this is someone that wants to work with you. Like this is someone that sees you two being together, having kids, raising your family. Maybe you're about to be like the, the modern day Brady uh, Bunch, Brady Branch, whatever the heck they call them. Lord, I can't remember. Don't, don't hold it against me, folks. Like I don't lost my black people card a long time ago. The, the Caucasian card. I don't even know if that's a thing. Is it the Brady Branch, the Brady Bunch, baby, whatever it is. Maybe that's what you, you two are about to have. Like have, you know, your family come together and just live happily. Focus on taking care of your kids and things like that. Okay, but there is some type of conflict going on in this man's life. Uh, and this is something that's unexpected with me seeing the tower that many times when I was shuffling my deck. There's a tower going on behind the scenes that someone was not expecting. And it is something that has left him in some type of situation where he feels really desperate to be around you. So maybe someone could have been in, like something. There's a story. Like if it plays out how it's supposed to, <laughs> it's about to be very hectic. So it's that you're going from borderline disliking someone because of the way they treated you or did something to you to like you and them either being in love or you and them kind of just calling the truth, having closure and moving on with your lives. But there's someone who's very desperate to be around you because of the energy you have about yourself. Like someone's time invading your privacy has has illuminated who you are to them they see you as someone very genuine and authentic now and this conflict the honey there's conflict going on behind the scenes and i think it has to do with like the truth being exposed about this person having a lot of emotions for you which is why they've been doing something plotting on you he said if i can't have her nobody else can have her that's not how it works sir that's not how it works okay that is not how it works. You are not God in anybody's life. Yeah, uh, yeah, one. You're not God in anybody's life. God is clarifying that to you. He said, I am God, not you. You don't decide who someone can be with. Okay? So anyways, the ancestors are, your angels are balancing you out collective. If you are having a hard time for a moment in your life, thinking, having creativity, whatever it is, or maybe just not wanting to deal with people, the opposite sex, the same sex, whatever way you go. Um, all of that is changing. You are being like restored. Like something is being balanced out in your system. Anyways, thank you for watching the Ascended Divination Priestess channel. Stay blessed. I'll see you in my next read. Goodbye for now.